Ben Wicks, Melbourne based bass player. Um, I'm just, I'm really excited about what Mustronics is doing in the bass pedal universe right now. A um, couple of really simple things to start with is the fact that Andrew is a, is a bass player. So when he sits down, um, he's not creating product to sell people. He's creating a tool to do a job that he wants to do. Um, and he's kind of come at it in a couple of really unique and, and um, interesting ways, I find, I think. Um, he hasn't, you know, he hasn't rewritten or reinvented the wheel. He's taken a really nice kind of nearly driven Ampeg fuzzy kind of sound, which is, which is really great because it's got a lot of nose and it really bites and really pushes and cuts through. Um, it's got a lot of body, a lot of bottom end, like a muff, like a, a Electro Harmonix or a Subtech muff, which is one of the reasons I was really drawn to it. I'm a massive um, Subtech um, green Russian um, zealot. And this fuzz pedal, the uh, BF1 fuzz pedal by Muzztronics, is the first fuzz pedal that's actually knocked the uh, green Russian uh, fuzz pedal off my board uh, in 20 years of, you know, playing. So, the couple of things that he's done differently that I really, um, really enjoy and really appreciate is instead of a blend knob, you know how like all fuzz pedals out there now, um, when they've got bass printed on them, sometimes you'll find that the circuit's ex exactly the same, they've just added a blend knob and, and you know, 50 bucks. But um, what Andrew's done is he's essentially created two lines and they've both got their own volume. So you've got, like it's like having two channels. Um, and not a blend, but two volumes, so you can really balance your fuzz with, uh, with your clean tone. Now, that sounds really simple and really, you know, duh, but the big, big difference between a blend and having that is that on the fly, at a, at a show, you know, at a festival show or at a, you know, whatever, you want more fuzz and you bend down and you turn up your fuzz, but essentially what you're also doing is turning down your clean. Um, and, and you don't want to do that. You want to just, you know, adjust. Or if you need more clean as well, vice versa. So I really, really appreciate that. And then I, I don't know, because I wasn't there when he was cooking this up, but what he's also kind of stumbled on in, in creating that, that, uh, those two lines is that he's, he's got a switch for the phase between those two, which creates a really usable uh, sort of um, tonal variation, which I, you know, I didn't expect there to be any difference really or whatever. I don't, I'm not a phys physicist, so I don't understand all the ins and outs of a pedal properly. Um, but essentially for my ear, what that phase switch does is it's kind of like getting a silicone and a Dramanian, uh, the characteristics of a silicone or a Dramanian, like in the silicone being a little bit sharper and a little bit more tacky and the Dramanian being a little bit broader and, and flabbier in the one pedal, which is great because I've been, I've been doing shows with two fuzzes um, and I don't need to do that anymore. Um, because of this little switch. I don't understand it, but thank you for cooking it up because it's, it's epic. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of the sweeping of the knobs and pushing of the buttons because we all know what a fuzz pedal sounds like. We all know what a tone knob does on a fuzz pedal. Um, I'll just do a couple of like extremes, I guess. Um, and most people, you know, as much as we all like to think we're sitting there with cans on um, listening to gear reviews and stuff, which you should do. We are taking a DI out the back of the Mark Bass and, and it is a very clean uh, DI sound. So you, you will get a pretty true idea of what it's doing. But, um, you know, not many of us actually do that. I never do that. Um, but that's not, the, that's not what we're here to talk about. So what I'm gonna do is show you that the unity on the clean, I've just turned the wet off, completely off. So the pedal. The 
There's a, maybe a little bit of gain boost there because I've maybe not got it perfectly at unity, but tonally, you know, it's pretty clean, which is epic. Now, if I roll my fuzz volume in to about where I think is kind of unity, there's that fuzz. Quite a usable, quite a usable, usable fuzz. Um, like nice characteristics, nice and warm. That's the the bigger rounder vibe. If I flick this phase switch and we get that little bit more gnarly, little bit kind of little bit Cliff Burton. Uh, and if I crank this and we go to an extreme, extreme. I don't know that it's necessarily super useful. But. But what it is, is very articulate, even at the extreme end. You get the idea. Um, it's usable at, as a color and as a vibe. Very gently. Still cut. It's everything you want, everything I want from a, a fuzz pedal. Then you add the fact that it's made in Melbourne, handmade by a great dude. Uh, there's no batteries. Uh, Andrew's made the call not to go with batteries on any of his pedals, um, which I can get behind, you know. Uh, most of us run power anyway, um, and I don't know what's on the inside of a battery, but I can't imagine it's great for the planet. And if we're not all chewing through an extra 10 batteries a year, that's probably a good thing. Um, Mastronics, check his stuff out. It's really cool, I think. You should think too.